Songhai vs. Magmar, we are going first. Alright, let's replace Hound's Eclipse and the Spell Jammer. We got a Katara and an Inner Focus, I like this. So we can just play a Chaki Overtar as bait, and then just do a Katara Inner Focus Dealy with the Switcheroo with the juxtaposition the next turn. So even if the opponent does have like a, a like a natural selection that targets the Chakra, I'm sure we do have a Katara that we can do more damage with, I think. Because with the backstab it's four, and then with only two spells it's only three. So yeah, we're just gonna play a Chakra here, see how it goes. We got a Blood Rage Mask. Alright, so we can just do Katara, Inner Focus, and maybe the Phoenix Fire, assuming we can get more... Because we can get four, we can get five. It's just a matter of if uh, the opponent has something up his sleeve or not. And if he plays something... Oh, Saber Spine Tiger, so that just dies. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so we have three mana. Let's just go over here, attack this, and then we can just do remove that reminder tax, play the Katara on there, uh, do a Blood Rage Mask, and then just Phoenix Fire the General, I believe, and we'll just end our turn. Alright, we got another Blood Rage Mask, which is fine, but. And we'll see what happens, well, because the general can just easily kill Katara, or remove my artifact, but we'll see. Because hopefully we can just check the position and move ourselves to backstab range, but... If that happens, I have to replace a Blood Rage Mask because I kind of want something more like a Killing Edge or a, a Mist Dragon Seal or something. But yeah, the Blood Rage Mask is nice for now, maybe, but we'll see what happens with them with the, if the general plays something. Elm of Mechazor. So is this a Mechazor deck? I believe into a chassis of Mechazor. That is not nice, and I can't backstep that. Unless if I uh, do a switcheroony, but if I do a switcheroony, I can't reach him. So let's just move everything back so uh, it doesn't get hit by the chassis. And then let's just do. Um, let's just replace the Blood Rage Mask, see what our options are. We got a Phoenix Fire Eye, so I can't target the chassis with it, but now we're just going to do an Arcane Heart here. Just to ping the general, and we're just going to uh, let's see, Phoenix fire the general as well. So to do four more damage. I know we could have done more with the other blood rage mask, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. We got another juxtaposition, which isn't going to do any any good. But I mean, we can juxtaposition to a juxtaposition, but even then, kind of asking for a bit much. So I might just replace one juxtaposition and keep these two, because these two are just solid, but two juxtapositions just seems a bit overkill. Especially when I need minions on the board and all I have are just a 1-1 one, one Heartseeker and a Katara. Like even a Killing Edge or a Mr. Agassi would have been much more beneficial. A Cannon of Mechazor, so that's a thing I can juxtaposition. Uh, that's always a good thing. A Wings of Mechazor, so that's four mechs right now. Alright, this isn't good. So I have to get rid of the cannon, so let's replace the juxtaposition here. We got a Cobra Strike, so... That said, we can get rid of... Uh, let's see... I can just melee attack the cannon, so that's just fine. Then I'm gonna get hit in the face for like, uh, 5 damage probably, so... Let's see... So we have to... Juxtaposition this cannon and this. Why, why not? Just oh, I can't target that anyway. So we'll just target the Katara. 
Then I'll just move this. I'll Cobra Strike the Elm, I guess. And then we can move this over here, inner focus this. Then we can just uh, move this to the back and then backstab for four. Just move this up here, attack for two to get rid of the range. And then we'll just ping the general for one more and we'll end our turn. Alright, our Grandmaster Zendo. So assuming the general takes one more damage, we do have lethal because we can just position the general in a way so he's gonna attack the Zendo. But he's gonna kill that, so that's good. We're not taking five damage. So if the Heartseeker survives, then we do have lethal. In no sense of the general can just walk into the Grandmaster Zendo because we have exactly enough mana to play it next turn. So I don't even care about my Blood Rage mess since I'm not gonna be playing a spell. So that's the thing. I know he's gonna probably play a mech and into uh, into the Mechazor, but he can't use the Mechazor this turn. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, uh, I would have been in a world of hurt. Chassis of Mechazor. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, he walked away. Uh, I can't do anything about that. Oh, maybe I can. I, oh, I oh I can just I can kill the wings of the with the general. Move the Heartseeker over, play the Zendo right there, and he's just gonna walk towards it and then attack. I believe. Because he'll, he'll, he, either he'll go to the diagonal or he'll just go left. Which is a thing. Well, it's all or nothing here, so. We'll see what happens. So, we're just going to do. We have six mana, we'll just kill this thing, move this over. Play the Grandmaster Zendo here, hopefully the general will go left, and we'll just attack the general for one, and we'll end our turn. And now we get the killing edge, one turn too late. So yeah, he went to the left, and then attacked the Zendo, and then that would kill the general. So, death by Zendo. That was, uh, otherwise we would have taken at least 18 damage to the face with the mechs and the, with the mechazor and the two chassis, so. Uh, good thing we got the Zendo when we did, otherwise we would have been hurt for a lot, so that was a good game.